I gotta talk to you about self-publishing because you brought that up. So, I'm I'm doing the next book's also going to be self published. Can we talk about self publishing? Sure. What uh, what's that? What's the whole idea of publishing? Uh, like having a publisher and an agent? Because there's a bunch of people who've been reaching out to me trying to get me to write a book, which is ridiculous. Why? There there's people who are brilliant folks like you, like Jordan Peterson, that I think have a lot of knowledge to share with the world. Okay. I think what I feel I can contribute to the world in terms of impact is to build something. Okay. Meaning like engineering stuff. Okay. Like a book. A book I feel, has to be engineered and I'm not using that loosely. You have to engineer a book. It would, no, for sure. I, what I mean is like literally a product with programming and artificial intelligence involved. That's, I want to build a company. I want to, because there's I have a few ideas that I feel I'm equipped. I, and it has to do with your like intuition about the way you can build a better world you individually, like what can you add to the world that's a positive thing? And for me, I feel like the maximal thing I can add to the world is at least to attempt to build products that would add more love in the world. And like, so I wanna focus on that. The danger of the book for me, or any kind of writing, and even this podcast is a little bit dangerous for me, is like, it's fun that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> it's it's fun. It's like it takes you into this place where you start thinking about the world. You start enjoying and playing with ideas. You start and like uh, just your book on a um, uh, dear reader, uh, but also the new right. Like clearly, you and I probably think similarly in the sense that you did a lot of work. Yes, this and, next book is cr is killing me. Yeah, as you mentioned often, it's clear. Like uh, on your YouTube channel, which I'm a fan of, you often, it just comes out like, you mention all of these books that you're reading. It yeah. just comes through you, that you're suffering through this and you've it changes you. And it's clear that you're thinking deeply about the world because of this book. And I feel like if you do that, that's like, uh, when, I was, when I first came to this country, I re read the book, The Giver, I need to read it again. It's like, it uh, the the red pill thing is it changes you in where you can never be the same person again. Sure. And I feel I feel about a book in that same way. The moment you write a book, like the, of course it depends on the book. I could also just write uh, like in my field a very technical book. No, that's uh, a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but that that's okay. That doesn't really change you. That's just like sharing information. But like something where you're like, how do I think about this world? Can you just leave that behind you? I get it, dude. It's 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 being pregnant. There's it, it never escapes your brain. I'm telling yeah. you, I, yeah. you're absolutely right. Yeah, I don't know. It it, uh, it does seem to change it, but the reason I bring that up is because there's this whole industry of people that uh, seem to not really contribute much to the publication process, uh, but they <laughs> they make themselves seem necessary for like if you want to be in the New York Times bestseller list kind yeah. of thing, but also just being like reputable. Yeah, which is I'm allergic to that whole concept, but it does. Do you think it's possible to be on the New York Times bestseller list and be a reputable author and still be self-published? Not what you would want to do. Like people like Mark Sisson, I think is his name. He wrote like the Primal Blueprint. So like, if I'm getting the names correct, he's the the first paleo guy, right? So his, yeah. he self-published it. It sold gangbusters, um, but that would be like on their health chart, I believe, and. Uh, it, it's a little bit of a different situation. You would be reaching much more for the mainstream. Um, you'd be giving up a lot if you go through a publisher, especially financially. But yeah, you are not going to have the cred because there, the publishing is a cartel. The New York Times is part of this cartel. And if you don't publish within this cartel, they will do what they can as any cartel has to by necessity of being cartel to pretend you don't exist. So they will, uh, I was, I think the first one to have an hour on book TV for Dear Reader, cause that was a Kickstarter book. Um, but this is something that people- Dear Reader was a Kickstarter book. Yeah. Um, this is something people would have to be uh, aware of. So you would be giving up a, a lot, but you'd also be giving a lot to work with a publisher cause you're losing like a year and a half of your life. 
because they're glacial and they don't care. Well, that's that's my main problem. It's not the money. I mean, the money is whatever percent they take, 10, 20, 30, no, they're 50%. Ta- they're taking know. a huge chunk. Yeah. So if I sell a book through St. Martin's, it's a dollar. If I sell a book through Amazon, which is Dear Reader, that's $6. So that's what, 87%? It's something crazy. But for me, what bothers me isn't the money that, that for me personally, for me, what bothers me is incompetence. Like whenever I go to the DMV or something like that. Can I, can I interrupt you? Yeah. Let's talk incompetence. Yep. <laughs> New Right comes out last yeah. year. Yes. I get on Rogan, get on Ruben. I call them and I said, I got on these shows. Is there money in the budget for travel? And they say, we don't have that budget. Fine. By the way, you got on those shows not, with no help from them. Correct. Oh, yeah, that's not even a question. Uh, the reason they would want you to do a book is because they know you could get... The only reason yes. <clears throat> people get book deals nowadays, literally, is because they know that person can market their own book. That's the only way. And I, I got on Ruben, I got on Rogan, and they, they would have the money for the budget for travel, which is fair. They can do Skype. They told me this in writing. And I'm like, okay. And they can financially cover Skype. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's like, hey, Joe, yeah, we don't have the budget, but you're going to do Skype. Hello? Hello? <laughs> so there is another friend of mine was on a show on CNBC with Nassim Taleb. And they said, Nassim wants a copy of the book. And they're like, oh, yeah, it's like four o'clock on Friday. So we're closed. So, and he's like, he went there, picked it up, and walked it the two blocks. So there is, it's almost cartoonish. Oh, yeah. And it's not incompetence. It's um, it's past that. It's something almost, you can't really believe that. I've had two friends oh, who have been literally rendered suicidal um, because this was such a huge opportunity for them. And it was like watching their kid get beaten in front of them. And I had to talk them off the ledge. So it's... People do not appreciate how bad. Here's another example. The apathy of bureaucracy, something like that. The, the, I did this book, Concierge Confidential. There's a, ty- a typo in the first chapter. It ends with, I'm about to, T-O-O. Mm-hmm. They didn't fix it for the paperback. Who cares? It's, it's just like, well, okay. Yeah. Great book, by the way. It got, it got NPR, gave it one of the books of the year. So that was good. So why participate in this? Because otherwise, New York Times is going to pretend you don't exist. Uh, getting book on some booked on some shows might be more difficult, although I think that's collapsing in real time. Um, you're not going to get reviewed necessarily in places like PW um, or some others. So the new book you're working on, yeah. you have a title yet? Or the no? White Pill. The White Pill. Are you self-publishing that? Oh, yeah, for sure. And what's the thinking behind that? Just because you already have a huge following and a big platform and- uh... It's six times the cash. If I finish the book in December, I could have it out in February. If I finish the book in December with the publisher, it's gonna be out in December at the earliest, 2021. Why am I giving up 10 months of my life? Well, this is the big one. Do you have any leverage? Like do do authors have leverage to say F you? Like, can you just say- can... <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> just look, meaning like, uh, I want to release this book in two months. Oh no, no! I mean, you'll have a contract, and then your agent can fight it. But they don't have the they don't have the capacity to rush things through. Yeah, I guess if the because I've heard like they, fi- big authors, I don't know Sam Harris, all those folks talk about like they've accepted it. Actually, they've accepted. They're like, yeah, it takes a long time to. I'm not accepting it. But you, but you're kind of implying that a, a human being like me should. Like I'm saying these are your options. Right. So I just I just hate it. I hate the waiting because it's incompetence. It's not correct. the it's not necessarily the wait. If I knew it wasn't, you know, it, if it was the kind of people that are up at two AM at night on a Friday and they love what you're doing and they're helping create something special. That's the sense I get with some of the Netflix folks, for example. Uh, that work with people. I just, I don't know anything about this world, but you, you get like Netflix folks who, who help with shows. It, you could tell that they're obsessed with those shows. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, you're not gonna it, get that publishing. If you hand, like I handed the book in, I think it was July. I didn't hear anything from my uh, editor until December. 